Pretty slow on the draw, but the tools are there. One on blue white. Okay, counter spell. Gives us something else to do on their turn three. Okay, that's pretty nice. Some stick by the opponent. Impulse. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. No guarantee we'll even get something on their turn three anyway. We might just hold our man open, which would be pretty bad for us. This lets us drop the Celestis on three. Okay, third land. Thought they were roping us out because they didn't hit a land on time. Alright. Well, we have to slam the Celestis here. Hope it sticks. Let's see if they have the counter spell for it. It sticks. That's huge. That gives us more mana and lets us cycle through uh, probably temporary lockdown, which we don't need in this matchup. And we can flip to night side, do nothing, either play Mem uh, Emperor or Deluge. When it flips it for us, that's great. Take the action. We'll drop off the lockdown here. Okay. Can probably play you out. And then hold uh, Deluge. Wow, what a great hand now. Oh my god, Leyline Binding is so cheap. And here. Wanna flash in their own Wandering Emperor? Interesting. Am I just binding it here? Now you've done it. Hat's coming off. I think that's fine. Let's go ahead and uh nab you now. Make the token, that's fine. Keep watch for intruders. Nab the Emperor, okay. I guess. And here. That. See if there's a more attractive target. Now unfortunately this has vigilance, so we won't be able to nab it with the Emperor. Ganjo. Yep, we let this go. Okay. I think we play out more land here. And we hold the Emperor. And Deluge and Binding. And here. Let's see if there's another Emperor. There is. Yeah, okay. Well, again, we have the very cheap answer ready. And we can also flash in our own Emperor. Or Deluge. Make another Samurai. Fine. Let your blade okay. Do the I'll be back. Alright, so to Emperor or Deluge this turn? Emperor's not bad because we make a 3-3. But we'll eat these 4 points of damage. Down to 15. They hold open mana. My turn. Alright, so if they were going to counter something, I think I'd rather them counter the Deluge here. Let's do it like that. Ooh. Silver Scrutiny. Okay. Alright, he populates okay. And clears these out, which isn't terrible. And I guess we take Faithful Absence. We're doing okay on land. Yeah, we'll just do it like that. Alright, a lot of land at this point. I think we can probably play to populate here. At least only three open, I guess, just for Fateful Absence. That's fine. Take the pressure off. Could also just hold Memory Deluge. I think this is fine. Alright. Unfortunately, we have nothing except for Fateful Absence now. We've got a nice Deluge in the graveyard. Impulse again, okay. Sweet little dig there. Tap land, gain a life. Interesting. Another Emperor. Alright, well... Pretty well set up. Move to their turn. Either to Deluge or Emperor. Probably one or both of our Emperors. Another Impulse. Okay, opponent is setting up for whatever their endgame is. Definitely a head on cards. Look at that. Silver Scrutiny. X equals three. Draw three cards what they did, I think. Okay. Let's drop the first Emperor. See how they respond to that. We can also play the second one. The first is countered or immediately removed. Negate, sure. That's fine. We'll go ahead and drop the second one. Could very well have another counter spell. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Flip, take the action. Another Emperor is pretty good. Drop you off. Whew. That's strong as well. I think we dropped that on them. We don't have to counterspell to back it up, though. Deluge is really good. If we do this, they probably just sweep it up. 
but they probably have to, they're probably not filtering four sweepers. Sniper will be okay with this. Let's try it. Let's see if they have another cast spell. Lands. No interaction at all. Now they're sticked, though. So they might have creature removal. It is speed. But if they've been filtering only for counter spells, they might have trouble dealing with a board like this. All right, Faithful Absence 1. They give us a token. That's nice. We can draw with that. Let's see if they run four copies of Leyline Binding as well. Ooh, okay. Artifacts. We would need Bosiju to deal with that. Celestis. Well, we get a nice little attack here. I think we start with a draw. Temporary lockdown. Wow, it actually does it, but it also... Oh, it doesn't. It's three mana anyway. Um, yeah, okay. We can take a manual Celestis flip. Or just play out the Emperor after they kill off these guys. They play their own Emperor now. Okay. But do they really want to exile a creature? I've learned much Seems like a waste, since they have the uh, Silex anyway. Me. That's fine. Okay. Interesting. When it takes it all here. For hurting my people. Each non-land permanent. Oh my goodness. They're going to strip the Leyline Binding too. That's terrible. Wow. They're going to get back multiple Emperors. I guess it won't really matter though. It'll have Flash. They'll make a bunch of tokens and then we'll temporarily lock down them all anyway. So that's all fine, I guess. Take that action. Wow. Activate only as a sorcery. We actually got there. Okay. So I guess we take you now. Try to, at least. It's only as a sorcery, right? Activate only as a sorcery. Okay. Take it out. That was huge. That was a top deck right there. They deluge. They're looking for answers. Okay. Let's see it. We still have four mana open to drop our Emperor. What a top deck there. Whew. Okay. No answers found. Four mana open by the opponent. They minus the Emperor just to make a blocker. Okay. What else you got? Another Silex hits the battlefield. Okay. Man, do we drop the Emperor into that? Probably not, right? We really just want to dig for, what, the last Binding to hit the next Silex? Okay. I don't think we play the Emperor into that. Yeah, I don't think so. Yep, let's take the flip. Make Disappears okay. We'll drop the lockdown. Another Make Disappear. Don't need that. So if we play you, we don't have enough mana to Leyline Binding, right? Unless how many... We don't have black. So it would cost two. We could hit black and Leyline Binding here. Which is maybe be, maybe worth it. We s All right. Let's try it. Then we need, we need white open. We have white. All right. Let's hit a uh, black mana and leyline binding. We didn't do it. Okay. <laughs> Still, um, some sweet options here. Let's definitely take another herd migration. And we could hold. If we get another land, we could hold open a counter spell. But that's not really going to be relevant. So I think we just take the next emperor here. All right. Well, get in for three. We're going to get back a million leyline bindings. Maybe we should have taken a sweeper to clear out all the tokens they're about to make. Give them a nice. Oh, I wonder what the mana value of this is. They do X equals six. Yeah, they got, it's pretty expensive for them. But they get back all the emperors now. I hope you're ready oh, they have to pick it first. Interestingly, I thought they would get all three abilities. All right, that's not that scary. Did they not exile this? Why is it still on the battlefield? I don't really understand why that thing is still on the battlefield. Well, that makes the next herd migration significantly worse. I don't really understand what just happened there. Why is this thing still here? So it means we're just playing the Emperor instead? What happened there? This thing untaps is still around. Oh, they got back the backup because we had exiled it previously. Right, that's what happened. Okay. All right, here comes first strikey. Remember your training. Okay. Take three. Well, we'll drop an emperor of our own. 
first of several. Dissipate. Counter target spell. Yep, okay. That's fine. I mean, we can try the next one. Let's see what else they got. You got one more counter spell in there? Yep. Okay. Land is not what we need. Do we do nothing? Into the Silax? We'd like to draw into removal for the Silax, I guess. We don't need to play this land. I think we end here. Whew, brutal. Now the opponent gets a full price deluge off. That's tough. Okay, they plus. They get another counter in first strike. That's fine. I have got new moves to teach you. Take four more. Down to ten. Okay. Full price deluge right now. And we can actually play both make to spears, right? They don't have enough mana. Okay, they pay for one. And we'll counter it a second time. Alright. Let the top tech wars continue. Well, that's pretty good. Because now once the Silex is gone, we have another answer. We'll hold the land in case we um have something to cycle it with. Another Celestis. All Celestis. Celestis might be gone anyway. Looks like both are down there. Okay. Guards, to me. So we go like this. And they flash in another Emperor. They could pick one of these off with instant speed removal. Let's just go like that. Hell, let them use all the removal they want. Let's get this guy dead. And we really want them to use the Silex. So that we can drop the second herd migration. Or third at this point. Two down there. Alright. Alright. Silex gone. We've worked through it. One has two more cards in hand. We only have land. Well, cross your fingers, boys. Is there another counter spell? I think if there is, they probably got it. I mean, there's a stick here. So I guess there must be, right? They let it resolve. Do they have another Silex? Maybe they have Silex and counter spell? Yikes. Okay, they make a blocker. May your blade strike true. Play a land. What else you got? We draw more land. I think we sent three after the Emperor. One face. Alright, so they block one. They kill another. That's two removal spells. One of you is face. Let's try it like that. Chump block one. Do they have two removal spells in hand? That's one removal spell. Okay. Let's take this draw. Let's see if they let us get the draw before they use their second removal spell. Should we have sent all three? They have another one. Okay. Fine. Wow. They have both removal spells. All right. Well, we'll take this draw as well. Probably could have waited. Actually, let's wait. Now it, now it doesn't matter at this point. All right. Well, we draw the answer for their Emperor anyway. Who oh, sees you? Okay. I guess we do this now. Because we'll have priority on their turn. Can we do an upkeep stop? Alright, let's do it like that. Then they have spend mana on their turn. Okay. Yeah, we can play one of you guys out. Upkeep stop. Kill you now. Resolve. Alright, they get their draw now. And they get to spend their mana. Yep, they get another draw. That's fine. I wonder if we Siege will have any targets. Another Silex. It has a target. There we go. Alright, let's do it. Kill that thing. Wow. What a draw. What a game. They get a land here. Let's see if they have any basics left. They probably do. They're just two colors. Ooh, the last herd migration. Do we play it out is the question. We have lethal. I guess the answer is no. <sighs> if we play it and they draw a sweeper, that's not a Silex. 
then we'll be really sad. But there's no reason to think they play anything besides the Silex, right? This almost guarantees victory. We're going for it. We're going for it. That way, even if they have a blocker, they have a Wandering Emperor or something, we can still get through for the last point of damage. So they have to top deck one more sweeper that's not a Silex to win. Or they counter it. They're digging through the graveyard now. What does that imply? I think they're counting their... What, are they counting their outs? Devious cover-up. They put back all the goodies back in the deck. Okay. When it's down to six, they top deck. Is it enough? It's a land. They get a life, though. Oh, baby. Okay. All right. Okay. Play it a land. It's fine. Last, last card. What is it? Emperor gains them life. But then we attack down for three. So Emperor's not enough. They pass. Okay. We have March open. Sure. Oops. I don't know what that means. Maybe they think Emperor is enough. It's not, though. Right? Because they minus two. Anyone who harms my people Oof. must contend with What a game. Me. Yep. They go up three. I am and they go down to zero. What a game. Herd migration. Damn. A little slow, but we do have lockdown on three. So we can give this a go. Swamp conscript, okay. That's a good lockdown target. Start here. Underdog, another great lockdown target. We're gonna take a little bit of damage in the meantime, though. We can probably uh, get you down. Hope they drop some more cheap creatures for us to lock down. Down to 13 already. Trespasser. All right. Not locking down you. Make disappear. Well, start with the lockdown. And then next time we're probably going to have to Emperor the Trespasser. Okobo Reckon Array. Okay. They are mono black aggro. Do nothing though. Another lockdown. Okay. No reason to do this now. It does flip to night side, I guess. It's not really that big of a deal, though. I think we let it flip to night side. Does it matter? Nah, they're not getting back anything anyway. We'll let it flip to night here. Okay, we lose more life. Yeah, if they attack, we'll see if they have a um, invoke despair for us. Could go land of despair, but that might not fit into their aggro deck. Not sure if they even run that card. Okay, exile the glutton. Can actually probably drop off the land here. Oof, it's tough. What do we really want to do this turn? We could go Celestis, hold, make disappear. Could drop off the deluge. Lockdowns are only answer right now. I think we can drop make disappear under the guise that they are an aggro deck, and they won't actually have an expensive five drop. But we'll see. Okay. Exile successful. That's it for their entire turn. Interesting. Probably play the land out. Doesn't come in with haste anyway. I think we want to deluge this turn. We can take the deluge now. Mm, there's nothing we can play for one mana. We're just going to plus here. And we're going to deluge instead. Enter. Alright. Okuba flips. Does not have haste, though. Another underdog. Okay. That's fine. They blitz it in. Well, they're going to take out the Emperor. I guess we'll go ahead and take this draw now. Leyline Binding is interesting. We don't need another lockdown, really. Probably take another land, I guess. I think that's fine. Finding not cheap enough to take out the underdog. Too bad. Okay. We lose the Emperor. Now we have to deal with an underdog every turn. We can binding it this coming turn. More Deluge. Well, I think we want to go Lockdown plus Leyline Binding this turn. So we'll do it like that.
End here. Here comes the underdog. Alright. Go ahead and bind the underdog. Ooh, that's big, baby. Is it time for you already? Could be. It's very stabilizing. We don't have quite enough mana for that yet. So I think we'll drop the Celestis and play one of our two Delusions this turn. Did we hit land this turn? I don't know if we did. That's fine. We'll go ahead and do this now. I don't quite remember. I think we did not, but I'm not sure. Procedure's okay. We'll take some removal. And we can take Bosiju as well. We have not played land. We'll go ahead and play this out now. Let's just herd migration next turn. Take the action. Probably drop off the luge at this point. We have, uh, we'll keep the removal around. Liliana comes down. Okay. A plus. Each player Nobody discards a card. I'm tired of your secrets. We'll keep the migration, I think. Faithful Absence deals with Liliana. But March does it as well. And doesn't give him a card. That's fine. More land is just fine. Doing nothing flips the Celestis, which is kind of nice. So I think we'll do it like that. Alright. End here. Flip. And we can go ahead and resolve this. Take the action. Draw a card. Yeah, we can drop off this island. Sure. And we'll go ahead and do this now for X equals 3. Ooh, not Planeswalkers. Oh, man. I keep forgetting that. Damn. Uh, my bad there. Okaba. Okay. Takanuma. Okay. Plus again. You won't be outsmarting me. This card land. Seems fine. Alright. Go ahead and draw up. Faithful Assassin deals with the planeswalker, that's nice. The gate's pretty good. Leyline Bind is pretty good. Go ahead and take out Liliana now. And hold here. Trespasser. Okay. Probably exile you. X equals what? Three? So it's zero. Drop off a binding. Okay. Liliana comes down. Okay. You want a plus? That's fine. I think we drop off the other binding at this point. We all have things we'd rather. Yeah, we can take stack just to get the life. Drop off the land. That's a nice draw. Guess we already have all of these. No, we do not. All right, and it's battlefield tapped. Four beast creatures acquired. Sack, draw a card. Evolve sleeper, sure. Drop off one of our herds. I've always hated crowds. That does not answer the planeswalker. Let's get rid of the sleeper though. Auto pay is fine. Well, we have to send at least two here. 
And it has Menace, so we might as well attack with the third one. Then it goes down. Pump drops to 17. Oh, that's my cue to leave. We can take a manual Celestis just to gain a little life. Take the action. That's fine. Down to six. More land. We'll do a manual Celestis here. Take the action. More land. Okay. Drop you off. We'll attack with one of these guys. Leave back the other two for Menace. When it drops to 14. Take the action. That's pretty nice. Sleeper. Okay. Evolve Sleeper. Emperor's pretty good here. Attack with everyone. Okay. You can flash in you. Okay. Plus one on first strike. Alright. Opponent drops a 7. We got a Ganjo ready for the Road Captain if we want to. Which we probably will. Another Sleeper. That's fine. They go face. I think we'll go ahead and do this now. Level up the Sleeper. Level up the Sleeper again. Okay. One is down to six. And we have two attackers that are about to get through. And they scoop. All right. Well done. Not bad at all here. We can keep this. Drop you tapped. Hopefully you get a chance to play the headquarters tapped on two. Have a nice lockdown on three. Red. Epic here. Ooh. Lockdown's going to feel good here. Another lockdown. Yep. I think we drop you tapped. We're hoping they give us a... Um, Juicy two drop here. Oh, mono red so far. Well, let's see if they're aggro or Rakdos. Adversary. Okay. Cool. No problem. Down to 16. And drop the lockdown. Consider your board swept. Oh, and reading the lockdown. They don't like that guard. Third land. We now have some Faithful Absence Leyline Binding. Ooh, Squee. Good against the control matchup. Okay. That's fair. Down to 13. The Conjure's okay. We don't really want to let this thing attack, though. It's either a Binding or a Faithful Absence turn. I think we play the Binding now. Because uh, we'll have a cheaper turn later. Just need to do it before combat on their turn. I think it should be fine. And here. We want to do it on their turn, because they're not going to have any counter spells, and if we do it now, they could play backup Squee before combat, which would be pretty bad. Stormseeker, okay. Yeah, I think we have to let that go. Go ahead and... Resolve. Well, we'll exile Squee. But the opponent's deck is pretty well suited against us. We're going to have to stabilize soon. Down to nine. Our migration's okay, actually. We'd like to absence on the Stormseeker. Could hold lockdown. This could be an absence and herd migration turn. If we hit herd migration, we just win though. We're a little far away from that. Okay, I think we're gonna herd migrate and maybe use a Ganjo to pick off the Stormseeker. I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, we're too far away right now. Let's go ahead and discard this now. And we can get a planes, I suppose. We have double blue. Yeah, we have double blue. We have double everything. Okay, let's do it like this. Flip to night side. Yep, that's tough. Potentially should have Fateful Absence on our own turn to prevent that. Adversary. Okay, that's a good sweep target. So, before they move to combat, we will Fateful Absence. Alright. Get rid of you. That's fine. 
Slasher goes down. We get in for three, but we have another good lockdown coming. Probably play out a Ganjo. We're looking for a Deluge into finishers. Play you out. I think we play the lockdown here. Only three mana open. Could a Ganjo, another hasty threat. Then we try to Deluge and rally. Play with fire to the face. Okay, down to seven. One to the top. Uh oh, that's not good. Potentially another squee. Okay, what do you got here, opponent? Fourth land. It's a Raiju. We have the answer. All right. It's up to Deluge now. Bird migration. Wow. I think we just dig for that next land. We could probably Deluge on their turn. We just want to hit land, though. So this is okay now, I think. None of these are land. One is a Celestis. Emperor is very good as well. Celestis lets us hit land. We can go Celestis plus Emperor next turn and then go um, Migration after. How is the binding right now? It's not a... It's only at minus three. So it still costs three mana. March gives us an answer to something this turn. I think we take these two. Okay. And here. Hope we can survive. We could discard the Herd Migration if we really need to right now. Firebrand does not have haste. Beautiful. Okay. We got it. We got it from here. Ooh, double Emperor. So we go Celestis, hold, open, um, Emperor for their turn. They're a stick, though. They're gonna have another play with fire here, I think. End here. Lightning Strike to the face. That's fine. Down to four. Okay. Could always cycle her Migration if we had to, for whatever reason. We go to Attackers, to Blockers. Drop the Emperor. It cannot make you Hexproof. That is not within Red's power. Okay, you land. I am the Emperor of Kamigawa. Might let me strike the Emperor now. Protect my people. They play with Fire U, that's fine. Plan is the same. It's gonna die no matter what. So let's just get the life while we can. I'm never done. And then we seal away the game with you. That's eh, only three. But I think it's enough to get there. Plus the Emperor. And Deluge. Scoop. Very nice. Welcome to the post-game deck tech. This deck is sweet. This is the deck I've been waiting to make for a while. I was trying to do some mono and dual colored stuff first. Because you guys might not have as many wild cards to burn as me. But man, I've been excited to play this deck for a while. Essentially, Azorius Control with Herd Migration in the 2-drop slot. Or the 7-drop slot, depending on how the game goes. You can pay to uh, discard Herd Migration, search your library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle. You gain three life. That's a turn two play that stabilizes you against aggro, allows you to hit your land drops, and then later in the game at seven mana, you drop a bunch of beasts onto the battlefield. Sometimes it'll only be three if you just have a forest plains and island on the battlefield, but three is enough to get the job done. You just need enough to stabilize and or have some attackers to beat your control opponents uh, down from there. Three is enough. Sometimes we get four. We do have Jetmere's Gardens and Rapine's Tower in there as well. I think that's fine to put two more of those in there. They make uh, white and green and white and blue mana respectively. But that's all it takes. Just this really stabilizing presence on turn two and an endgame threat on turn seven. You don't actually have to have that as the endgame threat. Sometimes the Wandering Emperor is enough. But the rest of the deck is just control, control, control. We've got Fateful Absence as some removal. Just two marches. It's not um, it's not hit Planeswalkers, and there are a lot of those running around. So this is a little bit worse, I think, than um, some other cards you could play. Four copies of Make Despair. You want some amount of counter spells in the deck. This plays pretty well. It can nab your opponent's creatures on turn two, unlike Negate. Um, but also you can sack your uh, Herd Migration Beasts or your Wandering Emperor tokens to uh, use the casualty to copy it. To have some more expensive spells too. So I think this is the premier counter spell right now. Four copies of Temporary Lockdown. I love this card. I think every white control deck I have is going to run four copies of this because it just shuts down people so hard. Two Celestis in here. Helps you ramp a little bit. Helps you cycle through all the sweepers you're running when you don't need them in certain matchups. Four Leyline Bindings. Man, this card is ridiculous. I have it in the three drop slot because if you have um, Forest Plains and Island down, it does go down from six mana all the way down to three. And if you have anything else, it drops even cheaper. This card is ridiculously good. And then in the four drop slot, mostly Emperor and Deluge. Some instant speed against aggro decks. You can drop the Emperor. As against control decks, you can drop Deluge, depending on the situation. But then we also have three copies of Depopulate. It seemed like I went through a couple iterations. I lost a couple games in the beginning before I added in Depopulate against Mono Black because I didn't have great answers to Trespasser, which forces you to discard a card. Also strips Memory Deluge out of the graveyard, which sucks. 
but also Shoulder comes up too. So I think having a little bit of unconditional sweeping against Mono Black is quite valuable when Lockdown can't quite hit those targets and they're a little bit awkward to hit directly, especially the Graveyard Trespasser. So that's the deck. Ton of fun today. I think this deck is good. I think this deck is very good. And I think you should try it out. If you have the wild cards to spend, just get Herd Migration in there and uh, just a bunch of control -y stuff and you'll you'll have some fun games. So that's all. As always, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment letting me know what you want to see next. I'm Dr. Ruckus and I'll catch you next time. Peace.